And this particular statement has probably gotten me through some of the hardest, most uncomfortable parts of my spiritual journey. And people um, sometimes don't understand the depth of what this means. So I had somebody ask recently to help me to explain this concept, to explain that the statement and what do I mean when I say this. And if anyone knows me, you've heard me talk about this or at least say this many times before and I'll say it, but I want you to hear the depth of why I mean what I mean when I say this concept. So the concept is, and you may disagree or agree, but I want you to understand my perspective on it. And um, so the question was, what do you mean when you say that you cannot create more than you can handle. What do you mean by that, Marcus? You've, I hear you say this a lot in sessions, and you often say it in, in lectures, and I've seen posts about it. Um, what, is it what exactly do you mean when you, when you say you cannot create more than you can handle? Can you explain that concept to me? So I think it's important to talk about this, this idea of what I mean by when I say you cannot create more than you can handle, what I'm really saying is that it is impossible for the innate universal intelligence within you, your source, your creative essence, your divine aspect, you know, the, the creative intelligence within you that is beyond our human experience, it's impossible for that aspect of you, the, the deep source core of who you are, to manifest an experience beyond your, your inherent capacity to handle. So what I'm saying is it's impossible to create more than you can handle. It's your beingness, your consciousness, isn't going to sabotage your existence with a manifestation that's beyond its capacity. I mean, you cannot manifest beyond your inherent capacity. You can only manifest beyond the capacity that you can handle. Now, what do I mean by that? when I say that. Because oftentimes people would say, that's incorrect. When, I, when you say, you know, you can only create, you, can, you can't create more than you can handle, that's not how I feel. That's not what it feels like when something's going on. And I would say to you, that's because when we're thinking about this idea, I'm talking about an idea from the core part of who you are, but oftentimes when, we, when people talk about this idea, they're speaking about it from their relative experience. And what do I mean by relative experience? I mean, they're speaking it from their emotional, their energetic, their mental experience, right? So when they see it through the lens of their own manifestation, something that their soul, their beingness has co-created with the universe, they inherently see that when you see that through your relative experience, it can appear that it's way too much for you to handle. In other words, your spirit cannot create more than you can handle, but your mind may disagree, right? So you may create a, an, a, an experience that is so uncomfortable and so difficult and so challenging because it forces you to move beyond your present paradigm or it forces you to investigate yourself in a different way that you normally have or it creates a kind of, um, of uncomfortableness in you that, that is so challenging for the relative part of who you are that it appears that you're creating more than you can, can handle. But that's impossible. It is literally impossible for your beingness to self-sabotage your experience. If anything, your beingness is, is kind of working and behind the scenes to continually invite deeper and more profound experiences through this human investigation and in all these different ways. It's providing a forum for you to investigate, learn, grow, heal, um, evolve and inspires you to discover the another manifestation of a deeper part of who you are. So your beingness is never actively trying to sabotage your experience. Though that's the way, the filter that we see it through oftentimes when we see when the mind starts assessing what's going on. Remember, anything that the mind can't understand or doesn't have a box for, or can't categorize, or can't, it can't put into some kind of system of, of being able to wrap itself around, it immediately feels uncomfortable with that experience. So if your divine nature, and in your, remember, in your inherent wisdom, there is a part of you 
this innate intelligence that's working on your behalf. I mean, Wayne Dyer said it's conspiring on your behalf to bring evolution or at least opportunities and invitations of evolution to you, right? So if this is happening, it behooves us to look at the manifestations we're creating from a perspective of it is impossible for me to create more than I can handle. In other words, there is always a solution. There is always a solution to something that is coming to you. And the solution often requires us to dig deeper, to go deeper inside, to ask different questions, to go for a deeper sense of, of investigation, deeper introspection. It forces us to push outside of the parameters of what we've always been, and it's inspiring us to do something more other and beyond than we've done before. So in that sense, the mind does the ego, the ego mind, the ego, the contractive ego mind part of us does not agree that it feels good. And it does not agree that it's good for the system, right? But remember, <laughs> the ego mind system, its job is to maintain in its present paradigm. It's trying to manage, maintain, control, and make everything functionable. So it doesn't really like things to change too much. So when this manifestation, the co-creative part of your essence, co-creating with the universe, this unconditional intelligence, when you're manifesting some experience, the first kick usually from our ego is, this is too much for me to handle, right? But it's not true because if you created it, you can handle it. So. When I was going through the beginning parts of my spiritual process, I would go through some things that I thought were excruciating. I would discover parts of myself that I didn't like. I kept on seeing manifestations in the outer world that I did not like. I was creating relationships and abuse and contractive environments and seemingly things that were uh, well beyond things that I didn't want. Right? But on some level, there's an unconscious part of this innate intelligence that was helping co-create that, and it was being presented to me. And in order for me to work with it, instead of denying the existence of this manifestation of whatever this thing is that I just created, instead of looking at it from a victim perspective, I adopted the idea, I cannot create more than I can handle. Therefore, if this is being presented to me, I can handle it. There's a solution. There's a way. I just haven't found it yet. It may be unknown. It may be in a deeper part of me, but it's not something beyond my capacity to be able to work with. So anytime I hit one of those spots where the ego butted up against a manifestation that was either ugly or uncomfortable or contractive, I would say to myself again and again and again, A, I can't create more than I can handle. So if this is being presented to me, there's something in this. I have the ability to move through this or I just have to figure it out. Now that's an expansive mindset. When you look at it from that positioning, you're looking at it from a growth mindset perspective, which says that you're looking for a solution. It's a solution based ap approach to life, right? Now I could also have said, I can't handle it. It's too overwhelming which in some ways is a cop-out. The manifestation's not going away, right? So it's not magically because I say I can't handle it, the universe is like, oh, okay, sorry, that was a, a rough one. Let's re-give you another one that's easier. That's not how it works, right? In fact, it works the exact opposite. Usually, if you create something and you're unwilling to, uh, to address it and you deny it, the messaging gets stronger, more intense, again and again and again. It keeps coming back at you in a more intense way. Why? Because you need this lesson, you need this opportunity, you need this invitation. And if you're uh, even in your egoic unwillingness to admit that you do, the universe in its unconditional love will continue to present the same messaging again and again and again until you get it. So you denying that you've created it and trying to take step out of responsibility or denying the capacity of you to be able to handle it does nothing. It does absolutely do does nothing for you to move through what's going on. In fact, all it does is diminish your ability to find a solution to what's happening.
because you're now investing in a contractive mindset and that contractive mindset is putting you in a division a, di um, a, a victim scenario that somehow you're not responsible for this manifestation that just magically occurred in your life right now this is a challenging concept for people because you have to buy into the idea that you're a co-creator that you're creating with the universe that you and the universe the universe is this pool of this incredible field of creative potential and your all the bit different layers of your being are working with this field of potential to create the manifestations that are inherently inviting you into a deeper experience of yourself you have to buy in you have to have that awareness but even if you don't have that awareness and the manifestation still comes up saying you can't handle it doesn't help because it doesn't make it go away so in a lot of cases it's an excuse from the ego to not meet this manifestation in responsibility so when i use the i when i say this mantra to myself and let me be clear during my process and in my healing at the very beginning stages and still to this day when something comes to me that is so shockingly difficult to handle my response to myself is well i cannot create more than i can handle therefore there has to be a solution so moving from that space and thinking about it from that perspective i am not giving my ego an out and the truth is i already know better that if i avoid deny or try to deflect responsibility for this then it's just going to come back stronger more intense and in some other form and i'm inevitably going to have to deal with it you can escape an entire incarnation on this planet but you cannot escape the life lessons that you need to have in other words you're going to pay the piper if you've contracted to learn certain things which is inherently our mission here on on this experience is to evolve grow you know um, purify and celebrate the purification that we become in this this playground of 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 uh, relative manifestation if that's happening it's on you so for me that's an accountable statement when i say that i can't create more than i can handle when i say i i am referring to the big i i am referring to the the source the inherent aspect of my universal intelligence i'm in, i'm inferring the essence of my creative potential that wisdom beyond my human experience that's the i i'm referring to i ergo that innate universal intelligence cannot create more then I, my relative experience of Marcus, of this human form, can handle. Even though I disagree. Right? So I just dispense with the whole dialogue that the mind comes up with to deny it and just go straight into meeting whatever challenge is presented from a position of expansiveness that I cannot create more than I can handle, therefore, whatever's being given to me is exactly tailored. It's not only that I can handle it, it's exactly tailored for my specific needs in this moment of my journey, because the universe knows exactly what I need to move forward in my evolution. So it's not only that I can handle it, it's absolutely perfect. It's perfectly crafted and designed and, and, and orchestrated in the perfect way for me to get the most out of that experience, right? The universe does not waste opportunities. You know, we are the, the, your consciousness is highly resourceful and incredibly efficient. So it's not giving you something you don't need. There's no extra fluff going on. Anything that comes, you need. So when you can get on board with that, in, with that process, you can meet something head on from an expansive perspective, that's empowering, right? That sets you up in the, in the idea that you have the capacity, that the universe is conspiring on your behalf to, for you to grow, and that if it's coming up, it's exactly tailored to whatever you need to move through what you need in order to move to the next level, the next layer of expansion, to deepen in yourself, to evolve. So from I choose to come from that perspective, why? Because for me, it's the most expansive way to approach manifestation. 
and it doesn't give me an out of excuse that somehow I can't handle it. And so that is a challenging thing because what that does is also that annihilates the victim consciousness. There's no victim consciousness when I, the inherent part of my being, is creating something perfectly crafted and designed for my process, for me as the relative experience of Marcus or whoever, to grow and evolve and purify and continue to become the most expansive, highest vibrational manifestation of who I am, right? So it takes that off, that, it takes that off the table. So my suggestion and my invitation is that dispense with the dialogue that comes from the contractive mindset that says you can't handle it. Dispense with it. Just don't even go there. Don't even invest any of your vital life force energy in, in the, a victimized perspective of your own manifestation. Invest that energy, that, that vital life force energy in a solution, in a growth-oriented perspective, in a mindset that's expansive, that's going to encourage that inspiration of more other and beyond within you, right? So when I say that, when I say you cannot create more than you can handle, I am giving myself permission to be responsible. And what I mean by responsible, I mean I'm responding with attention and love and compassion and expansiveness. I'm responding to the manifestation that I've created. Now we know we're creating on multiple levels of consciousness, right? We know that. We know that we're multidimensional beings and that there's layers of things that are, that are helping create that manifestation. And so our job is to discover, like an adventurer, to discover these parts of us that are unconsciously part of that process. The only way you're going to discover new parts of you, the only way you're going to access and open up who you are is to open up to understanding that the manifestation is there to teach you to go inside. So when you meet the challenge, when you meet a manifestation that's ugly and uncomfortable and difficult and something you don't necessarily egoically want to deal with, when you face your demons, right? When you face your demons, look at it from the perspective of I somewhere within me, the collective wise internal intelligence, innate universal intelligence within me was privy to creating this experience perfectly designed for what I need in this moment. Therefore, nothing is wasted. It's perfectly efficient. And my job is to go on the adventure, the treasure map exploration, the sleuth detective work to figure out how I can meet this challenge from an expansive perspective. From that place, it's, it's very empowering. I'm not saying it's comfortable. Let me be clear. I'm not saying it's comfortable. This is not a comfortable approach, but it's inevitably the place you are going to get to at some point anyways. So why not just dispense with the victimized process that doesn't take accountability for your manifestation? You know, the thing is, more, the more you take accountability for your manifestation, the more engaged you are in the process, right? When you deny your own creative potential, your own creative, the own, the, your ability to create. I mean, there's a, there's a level of contraction in that. Just because we don't like it or we don't believe it to be true, if it's happening, you've you've been a privy to that to that you've been privy to that creative process on some level, even if you're unaware of it. So the only way you're going to become more aware of it is to own the creation, to be responsive to the creation, to meet it with expansiveness. Thank you for that um, the question. I'm going to be posting something on Instagram on this because I thought it was so powerful and it's something I do say a lot. So I thought I'm going to make sure I put a post on Instagram on this uh, and uh, it'll come up at some point. But I appreciate the question and um, certainly it kind of gives you an idea of where I'm coming from when I'm saying this.